Joa and welcome to the firm. So I wanted to do a video on how you can put about $10,000 into your pocket for your business. So the biggest misconception when people are starting a business is that they're going to get this large sum of money to be able to knock out everything that they need for their business. No matter what kind of grant, loan, how much money you take out of your 401k, your savings, your business is going to still require more money, especially in the beginning. So by putting yourself on a budget, or I like to say a spending plan, we can kind of reserve some of the money that we already have to be able to put that into our business. For example, when you are starting a business, you're not going to want to hear this, but you are going to have to cut out some expenses, okay? Sunday fun day, being outside, turning up, all that really is going to have to stop. Not forever, but you're going to have to put that on pause, I would say, let's just say for six months to a year, okay? We are trying to start, grow, expand our business, so the easiest way to get capital is to just reallocate funds, okay? So if we're a nail girl, let's say to get our nails and feet done, no designs, we'll say 150 so that's going to be $300 a month, 12 times three. That's going to be $3,600 um, a year that you would have if you didn't get your nails done, okay? So can you use $3,600 in marketing, advertising, inventory, LLC? I'm sure you could. Okay, now we have our eyelashes, okay? If we go twice a month that's $200 12 times 200 that's going to be $2400 if we just did a strip lash for a year okay what other kind of expenses do we have oh starbucks so for everyone who wants to get that $5 coffee 5 days a week is going to be $25 a week $100 a month so that's going to be $1,200 a year you could save by either not going to Starbucks or going to a cheaper alternative like McDonald's 99 cent coffee, the best coffee ever. What other kind of expenses? Are, oh, shopping. Okay. So, you know, we all want to look fab, but we're starting our business. We're going to have to go ahead and recycle, you know, our, our little units that we have in the club. So let's just stay on average we spend about $300 a month in shopping. That would be 12 times three is $3,600 a year we can save by just not shopping, okay? Outside, okay? So we are Sunday fun day. We are eating at a happy hour. We're either taking a girl out or we just outside, okay? So we'll say $100 for the weekend for every week, and that'll be $400 a month. 12 times four is, am I right? I may be wrong with that number. Okay, so if we add up all of these numbers, hmm, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's going to be $15,600. If we divide that into two, I can't even do that. Hold on, I need a calculator. Let me get a calculator. Divided by two would be $7,800. Okay, so we're trying to start a business. If I just didn't do my nails and lashes, went to uh, McDonald's, maybe um, I did some strip lashes, I got those lead press on nails on Amazon or just didn't have nails, uh, didn't do any shopping and stayed in the house, forget a year, let's just say for six months, I would have $7,800 to put into my business. Who cannot use $7,800? So when it comes time to starting a business, stop looking outside for the funding. What can you cut back?